Nigeria is Africa's new frontier market, and the country's Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Olusegun Aganga, says South Africa will just have to live with that. In remarks to a forum in Washington, hosted by the Initiative for Global Development, Nigeria's trade chief insisted that his country is ready to take its place as Africa's strongest economy. Our Washington correspondent, Nina Marie Potts, questioned the minister on problems still plaguing the country, such as corruption and power distribution. Minister, thank you very much indeed for joining us. First of all, what progress have you made in terms of curbing corruption? I mean, there was a great deal of concern around the uh, suspension of the former governor of the central bank, Mr. Sanusi. I mean, corruption is seen as rampant and is seen to be turning investors away. When you talk about the economy, the other parts of the economy, we've had, if you look at fertilizer in agriculture, it used to be an area of corruption. What we're doing, we have removed that completely. When you're talking about the oil subsidy, it used to be an area of corruption. We've removed that completely. When you're talking about the management of government resources, we now have a soaring wealth fund, which is a transparent vehicle for moving the excess amount you have, uh, where you put in the, for developmental purposes, but also as, as a hedge against sustained fall in oil prices and as a vehicle for investing for future generations. Nigeria still has a huge power problem, despite the fact that you've privatized large sectors of the, of the power industry. Uh, what are you doing to address that problem? Government doesn't have the capacity, the implementation capacity, nor the financial resources to generate and produce power for the whole country. We decided to privatize power generation, power distribution, the risk the sector, make sure we create an investor-friendly environment for investors coming, including having commercial tariff uh, that will be encouraging to they're encouraging investors to invest, but also will not be too onerous for the consumers. You're about to overtake South Africa as uh, the continent's largest economy. What's your message to South Africa and, and what are you doing to live up to the responsibility that goes with that newfound status? When you look at the Nigerian story, uh, one in four or one in five black African is a Nigerian. Uh, we've always played that role for many years. Even when South Africa, under the apartheid regime, Nigeria played a major leadership role. We have always played that leadership role. Now, the fact that we're going to be the number one economy in Africa after the rebasing, I don't think that's going to change anything much. Uh, today, there's a very good understanding and working relation between Nigeria and South Africa, for example. It's not going to be a surprise to South Africa that we're overtaking them. We should. Uh, when you look at the sheer size of Nigeria, you know, we're talking about a country that is about 167 million people, a country that is growing at 3% per annum, a country that is likely to be the third largest nation in the world by 2070, with abundant resources. 